Hey guys, Jason here with Any Creative with another tutorial on how to add custom fonts to a Squarespace cover page. In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to first add a custom font uh, and then also how to uh, apply that custom font on a cover page. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing, let me bring up the website. Uh, the first thing that we'll want to start with is we'll want to start with adding our custom font to be able to implement it uh, within Squarespace. And so the way that we do that, you might have watched uh, my previous videos. If you haven't, uh, again, I'm going to walk you through that still. You'll start with the design tab. From the design tab, you go to custom CSS. Uh, from here, you can go to manage custom files. I always like to open it in a window. It just makes it easier to work with. Um, and then I'll click manage custom files. And I'm just going to drag my custom font over to be able to use it. Now this part's important. Uh, we're not actually going to be using anything under the custom CSS or writing any code rather under the custom CSS editor window um, because the way that cover pages are built within Squarespace they're actually built differently than the normal uh, than all the other normal pages within a standard template or a base, a base template um, and so but we are going to need uh, the link to your font. And so the way you get the link is you can simply click on the file uh, and then it's going to drop the link there. And the, what we're going to do with this is we're just going to copy uh, or uh, copy this and we're going to paste it uh, later on uh, when we add the code uh, to implement this font. So we can just go ahead and hit save for now. I copied the link. We can close this out. It'll open this back up. Now we want to go back to the front. Uh, and again, what we want to do is we want to start on pages. Uh, and in order to add custom font to a custom cover page or to a cover page, we need to add a cover page. So the way that we do that is we'll click on this little on the plus sign here. Um, we'll click on cover page. I won't change the title. I'll just leave it as is. Uh, and then you'll see it brings me into the cover page settings um, area where you can change the font, um, the buttons, things like that, the images. Uh, I'm not going to change any of this right now because um, it really is not going to make a difference. Now, how we would add custom fonts to a cover page is everything is done within the configure section um, by clicking on the gear. It opens up the configure cover page window. Uh, and this is where we're going to be adding the code to add the custom font. And the way that we do that is we're going to click on advanced right here. And under the page header code injection uh, area is where we're going to be adding our code. So similar to the process that we use in previous tutorials on how to add uh, the font, I'm not going to, again, walk you through what the code means or, or explain. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. So uh, the first thing is, so I don't lose, let me go ahead and uh, paste, again, the link. And I'm just going to set that aside for now. And then I already have uh, the code written out uh, that I'm going to copy and paste in here shortly. Uh, but it's important to remember that because essentially everything within this section is treated as HTML, we have to, any custom CSS that we do has to be encapsulated uh, by uh, opening and closing style um, tags. So. Now, anything that we do in here, we can do it uh, like we would normally do using the custom CSS editor. And so, just like we did in previous tutorials, we can now add the uh, font face. So what that means, uh, copy and paste this. So, one thing that we'll do is again, the custom URL, that's why we had to grab the link when we first started and we'll pop paste that there. Um, next thing is this OTF. Again, I discussed it. If you haven't watched my previous stories, you should definitely um, take a look at those. It'll give you a little bit more detail as to you know what OT, uh, extension OTF means or TTF means. In this case, it's OTF. So what that tells us is that it's an open typeface. Um, and so we'll delete the true type and just leave it like as such. Uh, and then uh, for the font family, we need to type in the name as it's written. 
Um, so if it's if you happen to have a font that's uh, written out in all caps, then it needs to be written out in all caps. Um, but this one is written out uh, as such. And then now our font is ready to be called. And so let me go ahead and do that. And so I've already, again, I've already written out the code to um, add and address all the areas within that you might have within a cover page, even the font within a button. So I'm just going to copy and paste that, and you guys can, you know, pause the video to um, get the text as you need it. I've also commented it out so you can see what that looks like. Um, let me see if I can... And so what I'm doing is is essentially this is where I'm calling uh, the text, the heading, the paragraph and body, and the button. And what these reference, uh, you'll if you take notice uh, of the comments, these reference um, these boxes here. So I'm branding when I wrote. Uh, if you delete this, um, you'll notice that it's just the text, the headline, the body. That's uh, where I enter in. I entered in the comments, um, and so you'll see that nothing has changed yet. But the reason why that is is because I haven't hit refresh. So let me go ahead and do that, and you'll notice that um, if I did this properly, the font should update to reflect uh, the font that we just added. And there you go. You can see that the font for your text. Uh, changed up here uh, for your headline uh, change here and for your body as well change here I also went as far as to change the text for the uh, button as well and so the code should remain the same for whatever cover page that you use in fact we can go ahead and try that now and switch the cover page up and you can see that uh, the custom font transferred over uh, to the new selected cover page as well. And so if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to comment. Please subscribe and, and like the video. If you guys are looking or need assistance with any additional tutorials, um, comment below and I'll do my best to get those out to you. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.